Welcome back. Uh, now I'm going to do question number three from the Pure Mathematics 2, P2, June 2019, International A-Level paper. And here's a question which is uh, new on the syllabus. It's about proofs, something which um, was not previously uh, tested formally in the, in the syllabus. Um, here we're asked to use algebra to prove that for all real values of x, x minus 4 squared is greater than or equal to 2x minus 9. So what we're going to do first is we're going to uh, try to manipulate this algebraically to make it into a form where we can uh, show something um, that will help us. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to just, uh, um, just expand this bracket here. So your x minus 4 squared will give you x squared minus 8x and plus 16 is greater than or equal to 2x minus 9. And then I'm going to bring everything onto one side of the inequality by subtracting 2x and adding 9 to both sides. So you have x squared, you have 8 minus 8x minus 2x, which is minus 10x. And you have 16 plus 9, which is plus 25. And then this is a algebraic, this is a quadratic which can be factorized as a perfect square. As you can see, you're going to have x minus 5 squared. Okay, this is x minus 5 all squared. So you have x minus 5 all squared is greater than or equal to 0. Now, this is something that we can, uh, we can use because we know that this is definitely true. And a little explanation will be needed is that um, for all real values of x, for all real um, x values, okay, x minus 5 squared must be greater than or equal to 0. Why? Because any square number, any number, any number squared, any real number squared, any real number squared, okay, whether it's positive or negative, okay, will be greater than zero, okay, or equal to zero if it's zero, or equal to, okay, greater than zero or equal to zero. If the, if the real number is zero squared, it'll give you zero. If it's, if it's uh, any other number like minus five or minus three or minus ten or minus a million, you square any negative number, you're going to get a positive number. So for all real x values, x minus 5 squared is going to be greater than or equal to 0. So that's basically um, proved it true. So you should make a little statement at the end. So you can say, therefore, for all real x values as x minus 5 squared is greater than or equal to 0, then it follows on that the original statement, which is x minus 4 squared, must be greater than or equal to 2x minus 9. Okay, so that's for all real x values. So because this statement followed on logically and algebraically from this statement, but we manipulated to give you a stat, if this is true, this must also be true. Okay, so you should put a little statement at the end uh, you know, stating your proof, basically. All right, number two, part two. It says, show that the following statement is untrue. Now, this is something called proof, uh, or you can say that pr you, you're proving something is incorrect by what's called a counterexample. So it's like almost, you can say, disproof by counterexample. So proving that this statement is false by finding one example that shows that it's not true. So this statement says that 2 to the power of n plus 1 is a prime number for all values of n, where n is a natural number. Natural numbers are the na counting numbers starting from 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. So let's start with the first natural number. When n equals 1, we'll say 2 to the power of 1 plus 1 gives you, that's 3. Is that prime? Yes, it's prime. Okay, so this is not a counterexample. Uh, when n equals 2, you're going to have 2 to the power of 2 plus 1, which is 4 plus 1, which is 5, which is also prime. And when n equals 3, you have 2 to the power of 3 plus 1, which is 8, plus 1, which is 9, which is not prime. So here we have 
our counter example is so therefore okay as as when n equals 3 2 to the power of n plus 1 isn't prime isn't prime therefore the statement the statement is proved to be false okay something like that okay the statement 2n plus 1 is a prime of all values of n is false okay so that's one mark for that so it's pretty simple so that's proof by counter example it's like proving something is false by counter example and there's question number three pretty easy proof question here a lot of students were afraid of this topic but when it came up it wasn't too bad okay all right so thank you for watching